is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best, and I'm, I wanted to talk a little bit about IPL and actually show myself as a patient because I'm a big believer in this technology. When asked about five to seven years ago what I thought were the two largest advances in plastic surgery uh, over the course of my career and lifetime and all the research that we've done here and some of the wonderful work that's been done at other sites around the country, I uh, really came up with two main things. It's the advent of the botulinum toxin, the Botox being the leader in that uh, area, uh, followed by Dysport and of course Xeomin, and then intense pulse light. And at the time, uh, this really, these two devices or these two technologies really ha had and still really make a huge impact on how we treat patients because they address a specific area of concern in a way that is very meaningful, number one. Number two has virtually no or limited downtime and very, very low risk. And if you put those things together, the impact they have on someone, the low risks, and the very, uh, very good outcomes, the very pleasant to relatively innocuous experience that people have during the treatment, um, it, it really makes for some very, very good technology. So with that said, uh, as we walk through a treatment where I become the patient, I'm able to sort of talk through some of the steps. The first and most important thing is finding the right indications for any treatment. And with IPL, we're targeting one of the two colors that are in human skin, red and brown. Now you can take very variations of that because the oxygenated blood is not really red, it's a little bit more blue. but IPL targets unwanted blood vessels that are part of sun damage or what we call solar elastosis where the skin uh, has a lot of changes due to sun damage including dilatation of the small capillaries. A lot of people call them broken blood vessels. They're not really broken at all. They're dilated and there's too many of them and it makes people have a red flush like skin and that's really sun damage just like the splotchy brown spots that we see and when we're young, we call them freckles, and as they get older and they sort of stick together or become more confluent or closer, uh, more closely ad adherent to one another, they are called uh, senile lentigines or macules. They're larger in general, and they're things that can be treated. No one's born with freckles. They're all sun damage, whether you're six years old or 60. Uh, uh, freckles, macules, or senile lentigines are really the, uh, representations of sun damage. So. That's really what we're treating when we do it. The steps of the process of treating them with IPL are really relatively simple. Uh, patients will come in for approximately 30 minutes of uh, topical numbing, and we have our own formulation, which I think people really appreciate in terms of the uh, blunting of any stinging effect. It's often referred to as the feeling of snapping of a rubber band on the skin. And uh, as, as I go through the treatment myself, I mean, I, I've feel it and I can tell you that that is much less significant when you use the two technologies we do for numbing which is topical anesthesia and then a very cold blowing uh, hose of air which is self-directed. So as you see me getting a, a treatment, you'll see me using the, the hose as the areas are treated and really cooling the skin as it's being done, as the treatment's being done, uh, helps that to be comfortable. So the first step is identifying the areas of treatment. The beauty of IPL is we're covering the entire face, neck, chest, hands. We've done entire bodies really with IPL to get rid of sun damage. But whatever we're doing it, we're covering that with numbing medicine first so it's comfortable. And then when we do the treatment, apply the gel to the skin surface and then do the, and then apply the actual light guide or the crystal from the machine to the skin surface, we're trying to cover every square millimeter of skin. Now, sun-damaged skin, where there's spots or where there are vessels that are unwanted, are going to pick up the energy. In areas that, of the skin that are relatively clear, are not going to pick up any, any energy. And so, it really, the beauty of IPL is it's targeting just the lesions, just the ab, uh, unwanted pigment, the abnormal pigments, or the damage, sun-damage-related pigments, the dilated vessels, capillaries, and the brown or the melanin. melanin that is collected in areas or spots. As we get into the treatment, the treatment head itself is very ergonomic for the nurses and doctors using it. There's a couple of different ways that we hold it. 
Uh, we use eye protection for everyone, even though IPL is safe. It's not a laser, uh, so it's not a single wavelength that can penetrate deeply in the skin. And while it can be used safely uh, around the eye, we still use eye protection just, just for general principles. You literally have to fire it at the open eye to see any significant risk uh, with IPL. With the protection of the eye uh, on the areas that we're treating, we're also careful around hair. Uh, IPL is not a very effective laser or, or device for using hair removal. It doesn't even get close to comparing to laser hair removal, which is very effective in permanently removing hair. But because it does have the potential to uh, get some hair removal, we're very careful, both in men and women, about avoiding the hairline uh, and the eyebrow areas because we don't want those to be lost. And men will talk to men about whether they want to uh, have a beard, and if they are growing a beard or going with the short bearded area, we'll typically avoid those unless they really feel like the trade off of the sun damage retreating in the bearded area is important enough to have a little bit of splotchiness or areas of uh, thinner hair because some of the bearded hair would be treated. For example, in my face, when we're treating, I have them go over the bearded area because I don't anticipate growing a beard. But for men that want a beard, then we draw a line and we'll do the upper third. Generally speaking, bearded men have some protection from the sun anyway and won't have as much sun damage uh, in the bearded area. So once the handpiece is applied to the skin surface, uh, there's a bright flash of light that occurs repetitively and the, the treating uh, the healthcare provider, the nurse or doctor doing the treatment, We'll do it in a directionality. There's a, a certain way that the, um, the the device, the crystal, is oriented, and it goes the opposite direction in the next pass. So all this being done in two passes, we're covering, as I said, every treatable square millimeter of the face, neck, chest, and hands. And as that process happens, we'll see a little bit of redness develop around each of the brown spots, the macules. Um, and some of the vessels will sclerose or shrink on, upon themselves immediately. And in some cases, depending upon settings, we can actually get the vessels to burst, which would give a small bruise, but that means that vessel is destroyed and won't ever come back. So IPL, just in summary, is using light energy in a very positive, affirmative way to damage the unwanted pigment in our skin without damaging the surrounding skin. So one can come in and get treated. You have a little bit of redness for an hour or so thereafter. And once that fades, the brown spots will get a little darker. And over a week or two weeks, as the skin naturally exfoliates, the brown spots will be gone. With the vessels, you'll see immediate improvement. In some cases, we'll use the YAG laser around the nose or areas where you see dilated capillaries often referred to as telangiectasis, they have a central feeder or, or spider vein, and they have a central feeder vessel that the laser can, uh, can address. But for the most part, uh, IPL is a comfortable treatment that is reliably used on any area of the body. Uh, the application of it uh, can be done in a very comfortable way, and that really is an important part. The experience for us is just as important as the outcome, so people can tolerate the treatment and get the expected results and really see over the long term improvement in the overall appearance of the skin as it relates to homogeneity of the skin surface. You don't want to see blotchy skin, blotchy red or blotchy brown. We'd like to see the skin really uh, uniform in its color. Nice, even, clear, uh, clear skin gives a very useful, bright appearance. It's something that I think of also as a maintenance therapy because no one can completely protect their skin from sun, even with good sunscreen and clothing for protection. One really needs to, you know, if you really want to keep it clear, probably come in once or twice every year or two just to maintain yeah, that outcome of nice clear appearance of the skin, uh, which includes the red and brown spots we see in the neck, a condition referred to as poikiloderma and uh, includes the dilated vessels, as we talked about before, macules and other unwanted skin changes. The hands are a reflection of the person's skin quality and aging, so when we look at hands that have lots of brown spots on them, of course, that's an area where we can treat just as effectively. 
as well as the upper arm and really all the way up to the shoulder, just so the upper and lower arms can be treated, get the hands, and we can really get good coverage of any exposed skin area, making sure that the skin is homogeneous in color and doesn't have these unwanted changes with them. If you have any other questions about intense pulse light, photo rejuvenation, IPL, uh, or often called photofacial, uh, that, please don't hesitate to write me at drmoss.com. You can leave thick pictures or videos of your own skin or spots, and we can talk about the, the effectiveness for you in particular. I'm happy to discuss those questions with a video and, and show those pictures if you allow them. They can be a private conversation or public. You just have to let us know. And as always, it's my pleasure to help you stay looking your best. This is Dr. Corey Moss. Thank you.